I didn't stream today because uh, basically I was in the hospital finding out if I had an aneurysm. I didn't. So there's that. Um, so I thought I would do another low effort uh, post based on some sales emails that I've gotten. And obviously this one is from the Humble Store. Uh, there's three publishers included in it, uh, Bethesda, Codemasters, and Rockstar. And I just thought I would give my opinions on what you should get if you don't have any of these already and have a few pennies to throw at them. Um, Fallout is is one of my favorite franchises like ever. I've been playing, you know, I, I Wasteland was my favorite game of all time, actually. Um, uh, so I don't really think you can go wrong with Fallout or, or the season pass for that. Um, I wonder if, if you don't have Fallout 3 or or Fallout New Vegas, absolutely get those. Um, they're, by now they're going to be on sale cheaply enough. Uh, there's no quick links to get over there, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, the new Doom is is really good and really gorgeous. Um, Prey is a bit pretentious. It's okay. Uh, Wolfenstein, I have no real opinions about. The Evil Within, I have no real opinions about. Uh, Dishonored was good, never tried the new ones. Um... So basically, off of this page, I would basically say Fallout, Doom, and Dishonored, I guess. But, I mean, there you're starting to get more, you know, into the into the higher ends of the money you're going to spend. The season pass for Fallout, though, is still 25 bucks. That's, that's, um, that's a bit more than I would want to pay. Uh, as far as Rockstar, I'm, I'm really burnt on Rockstar because of the shit with, with, GTA Online. Um, the shark cards on sale don't don't even fucking go near that. Um, but GT but the number GTAs and then San Andreas. Uh, uh, well, and and the expansions for three. Um, they're they're good games. Bully is is an excellent GTA you know game style game. Uh, Max Payne three. It has some some contemporary production values that are good. Uh, the story is okay. Uh, I would not advise people get into Max the earlier Max Paynes because we have we have evolved our our first person or third person shooter gaming such that Max Payne and Max Payne Two are really long in the tooth and they don't feel good anymore. Um, watch a playthrough and to get through the cutscenes because the story is excellent, but but I wouldn't want to play it. Uh, for Codemasters, there's a shit ton of driving games here. I personally do not like driving games. That is my personal opinion. If you like them, uh, I don't. I good for you. I I have no opinions to offer that. However, Overlord and Overlord Two are incredible games. I was looking, and Overlord here does not seem to come with the expansion Raising Hell. Uh, you do not need to get Raising Hell. But you need to get Raising Hell. So, so if, you know, if you have to spend a few more bucks for the expansion, absolutely do it. But just like Overlord 1 and 2, I mean, that's four bucks. You know, let's say maybe another four bucks for, for the expansion for Overlord. Um, it's absolutely worth it. I, I love Overlord. It's a, it's a great, great game. And it's a good story. Uh, as far as Overlord Fellowship of Evil, um... I was incredibly disappointed by it. I I love Overlord so much. I pre-ordered it and then and then canceled it after I saw some demos of it. Um, I did rebuy it later just to test it out for like an hour, and then I ended up giving it back. You know, just uh, returning the sale because it's just so. Bleh. I mean, for five bucks. Ah. Uh, uh, oh shit! Look at this. Twenty-four percent, mostly negative. Um, I, I, I wouldn't unless, unless you're really, really patient and really, really want to get into Overlord, but I wouldn't. And then just, just lie to myself and, and say that you played it once and that it was wonderful and you just can't bear to, to go back and do it again. But Overlord, absolutely Overlord. So my suggestions are basically Overlord, Fallout, and... Uh, uh, bully but above all 
Overlord.